Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey Locker Dome, this is Lamar from the Wilson Tech One channel. Oh man, there was so much news in this last week, even today, but I'm gonna talk about the Google car. I mean, if you have Google in your phone already, in your TV, why not your car? It just makes sense, right? Yeah, I'm not convinced. So when I first thought about the Google car, I wondered, hmm, what would it look like? And then I remembered a video. Free ice cream. <laughs> I hope it's not like that. But here are some of the details of the Google car. First of all, this would be a car that automatically drives in traffic. And as crazy as this sounds, it's been tested in California on the street for months now. And of course, since you can only go like 10 miles an hour in California, it's probably not a big deal. The report on Mashable stated that the only accident that occurred was when a car rear-ended the Google car, so it wasn't even their fault. Now, of course, each car is manned by somebody who's ready to grab the wheel at an instant that they need to. And then in the other seat, there's an engine who's doing engineering stuff. Now, of course, you might say, oh, this is not gonna be safe, but actually safety is the paramount thing that they're concerned with. So imagine if cars, instead of you tailgating somebody, the cars tailgate, but because they're automatic, they're able to monitor the distance and everything and they never hit each other. And actually you could fit more cars on the road and you might get to where you gotta go faster. The article went on to mention that your commute could be saved by an hour because of this method. Okay, now here's why you probably wouldn't want this. Well, while you're sitting there, you're probably gonna be inundated with videos and ads that you have to watch like this one you better watch it there might be a pre-roll that starts before you can even start the car <laughs> and heavens to betsy if you get a force close and an app in the car has to reboot but hey if anybody was going to do this i trust google to do it see with microsoft we have to worry about getting that blue screen of death and crashing literally <laughs> gotta love those blue screen of death jokes now what about an apple car well of course it'll be shiny and metallic maybe white definitely will be locked down no expandable features. Now you wouldn't have cup holders for a year, but then they'll come out with them and then the audience will just applaud at how revolutionary Apple is for inventing the cup holder. <laughs> but if Apple came out with a car, I would have to give it to them. You will have all the fart apps you want. Just make sure the windows are rolled down. <laughs> I am killing myself today. And you probably will too after this video. But hey, Lockin' On, I'd like to know your thoughts. Do you think Google can pull this off and would you buy a Google car? And if you wouldn't, who would you trust us with? Because technology is advanced it's going to happen so we might as well get adjusted to the fact that cars will be driving themselves it's just a matter of who will be running it for us so look forward to those comments and if you enjoyed this video please like it and I do a video like this on my channel Wilson Tech one every weekday so please subscribe the link is below hey locker you have a great week I'll see you back next Monday and until then I'll vlog you later